With three months, 13 weeks, and 91 days spent in Germany, Deutschland, I'm gonna tell you today the seven things that I think every overseas basketball player needs to know before they go over to Germany. Now, some of them are gonna be pros, some of them are gonna be cons, but at the end of this video, you're gonna have a better idea and appreciation of what to expect when you get to Germany, and ultimately, that's gonna help you in your basketball journey, so let's begin. Now, the first thing you have to keep your eye out for are the courts. Now, if you are from North America, you're gonna be used to hardwood courts, arcade floors, but in Germany, if you are not playing in the first or second division, which is the BBL or the Pro A League, there is actually no stipulation, there's no regulation from the German Federation that says that you actually need hardwood courts to compete in these leagues. So that means if you're in Pro A, Regional Liga, Landesliga, Oberliga, and all the leagues below it, you are most likely going to be playing on concrete, on rubbery, textiles. All of this can take a beating on your body. So if you are someone with bad knees, uh, with a bad lower back, I'd really recommend you looking into a high impact protection shoe. I'll put a link in the description below or recovery methods. Things like this are going to help you big time in your journey if you are going in Germany because the floors are unforgiven, the seasons are long, and there are many, many practices in which you'll be practicing on these textile, on these hard rubbery courts. Now, the second thing that immediately is going to jump out to you in Germany is the scouting system. The Germans have a great scouting system. So if you are starting in a lower division league in Germany, then you have a really good chance, assuming that you play well, you have a really good chance of moving up to different divisions. Now, for me personally, there was only about three or four games when I was in Germany, and I was already receiving interest from three or four teams from two or three divisions up. This is a huge thing. If you are a rookie and you are looking to get your start in overseas basketball, Germany has 11 divisions and they all scout and they look into different levels so that they can pluck players from there because that means that they don't have to actually spend money on a flight. They can just get players who they already know are, who are accustomed to the system. They're accustomed to the play style. They're accustomed to the German culture and it benefits everyone in this way. So if you are a rookie or a, or a player starting out, then I would really recommend you look at Germany. Its scouting system is top notch. Now, with that being said, the salaries in Germany are not the greatest, especially when you look at the overall overseas basketball market and the level of competition that you can play in there. They are not the greatest. So unless you are in the first division, which is the Bundesliga, the BBL, then you will really be struggling to get by with your basketball salary. Now that will mean that you'll have to supplement it in other ways, which is, there's no problem with that at all. In fact, I actually promote players to do that all the time because you shouldn't just be dependent on one salary. But if you are thinking that you're gonna be playing in the fourth or fifth division, third division in Germany, and you're gonna be living off of it, then it's really gonna to be tough slugging. For instance, when I was in El Salvador, uh, I basically made a salary that was on par with a second division player in Germany. In El Salvador, it's nowhere near the level of competition of Germany, but that's how the market shakes down. So, you know, that's something that you really have to be wary of. Yes, there's a lot of leagues in Germany, but not too many of them actually will pay you a decent living income. So keep that in mind. Now, one big culture shock that you have to be aware of is the lifestyle of the Germans. Now, for the vast majority of you, you're gonna be living in villages or tiny, tiny little municipalities you won't be living in a metropolitan area or metropolitan city at all. And this is not unique to me. A lot of people are living in tiny, tiny villages where there's really nothing to do at all. For some people, they enjoy that. Some people need that tranquility. Some people need that peacefulness, that calmness to their lives. But the vast majority of Germany is actually made up of these villages. Essentially, it will go village, 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 big cities such as Frankfurt where I was. Village, 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 another big city and so forth. In a lot of these villages, there might be, there was one barber shop, for instance, in my village. There was one gym, one gymnasium to hit the weights in, in my village. But the point is there's one, one, one of each thing. And sometimes you don't even have one. You may not even have a pizza shop in your village. You may have to go to the next village over 
which is maybe 10 or 15 minutes. Now, the good thing is these villages are very close to each other. They're about 10 or 15 minutes drive in. But, you know, if you don't have a car and you're dependent on public transportation, then it might be a little tough. So you better get a pastime and you better get a hobby to fill the time or you better be devoting a lot of time to training. Otherwise, your mind could wander and it could lead you to some bad stuff. Now, the best thing about Germany, bar none, is the network. Germany, my lord, the economy is just unbelievable there. They have the fourth largest GDP in the world. And on my team alone, we had, I counted seven or eight millionaires on my team. Now, I don't know where you're from, but where I'm from, I haven't been growing up around too many millionaires. So just to see the amount of people who are succeeding financially in Germany is unbelievable. And if you are interested in setting yourself up for life after basketball, then I would a hundred, a thousand percent recommend Germany because they have such a boom in economy. The network is so deep there. They have so many different types of avenues that can help you if you want to set yourself up afterwards for basketball. So, you know, this is obviously beyond the basketball court, but this is a huge thing that I'm not sure a lot of players are thinking about, but you should be because you can only play so long. So you do not want to burn the bridge in Germany. They there are many, many Americans who stay there and they never come back home because there is such a good network there. People look out for you, especially if you've been doing them right the whole time by playing well on their basketball team. And hand in hand with the powerful German network is the language barrier. There really isn't much when you go to Germany. A lot of people now in Germany are speaking English. If you go to maybe say a village or a smaller area, if you live in those areas, then yes, it might be a bit more difficult with English. But even then, it's not that bad. The majority of them have broken English to communicate with you. And if you're in a metro area like Frankfurt or Berlin or one of those areas, Munich, it's going to be no problem at all. If you are really looking to tap into that German network and English is your only language, there will not be a barrier in terms of opportunities for you. And the last thing that I think you have to look out for in Germany is the beer and the lifestyle. Now, I hate to do this because it's kind of stereotypical, but... Germans love their beer and this can be something that can actually be kind of dangerous to you if you have an addictive personality if you have a carefree personality this could lead you in the wrong path because after practices after games uh, they'll be having beer when you should be recovering really and that's just a part of their lifestyle that's a part of their culture but if you're not used to it and you're just pounding back three four five beers with these guys after practice after games you know, that can actually be quite detrimental to your performance in the long term because you're not recovering properly, your body's not used to it, your tissues will be inflamed. There's a lot of things that are going to factor in there. So, you know, a lot of people there, it's their, it's their custom. They're going to be offering you beer a lot, so beer will be available. Another thing is the pastries. As funny as it sounds, these things are so good, boy, you don't even understand. But they can be dangerous too because if you just keep on pounding back beers and pastries all season, season long, you're going to be packing on some weight, you're going to be inflaming your tissues, and ultimately that's going to be impacting your game. So there you guys have it, the seven things you need to know before you go to Germany if you want to play professional basketball out there. Like I said, it's a great market, there's a lot of things hidden in there, so hopefully this helps you in your journey. If you guys gained any value at all, go ahead and please give me a like button. You know, I love doing these videos, I want to keep on doing them. If you have any questions, I'm always happy to help people who have been reaching out to me on social media, Instagram, you can find my handle in the link below. Until next time, guys, thanks so much. Keep going on your basketball journey and peace.